Warehouse A. Just wanted to say a huge quick shout out to Alchemate. It's his birthday today, so happy birthday, Alchemate. One of our friends of the channel who's been following our videos, and especially the 999 series. Uh, I hope you have a great one, mate. <sighs> ah, shush it, rabbit. Oh, you're finally done. You were taking so long. I hopped off for a little nap. Ah, uh, for yawning? Really? You're just a computer program. You don't get tired. Hey, B.O. My temper's got a hair trigger, and you're awfully close to pulling it. Please, please, please. So I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Otherwise... Well, do you really need me to spell it out? All the dots. All the dots. Uh, forget it. <laughs> That's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. Who's a good boy? Not you, that's for sure. Alrighty, let's get back to what we were talking about earlier. Alrighty then. Great Ace Ventura. Ah, oh, I love Jim Carrey. He's great. Namely, how do you get more BP? Now, I would say that I'm going to skip over this because we've already seen it. But then again, with the way this game works, I'm just not going to assume that it's all the same. And even if it is all the same, you can watch it with me together. How's that? We go into the AB rooms, right? Look. We've got some keys for them right here. K and Quirk have two each, so we got six all together. But who goes into what room? <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Anybody can go into any room. But there are only six rooms. Didn't I tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny. Then you mean both members of a pair need to go into the same room? Yes, yes, yes. What do we do after we go into the room? Play a game. Just like it says on the door. You play the Ambidex game! Ambidex game! I really love who does the uh, voice for Zero the Third, by the way. I think it's... I mean, I loved Monokuma. Okay, I loved and hated Monokuma at the same time, but I loved Monokuma from Tengarapa. And Zero the Third reminds me so much like Monokuma, but at the same time, less I want to punch him in the face. Although, granted, Zero the Third is really annoying. Wait, what's ambidex supposed to mean anyway? I would guess it's short for ambidextrous. Most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands, instead of favoring the left or right. But it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. It's a game of betrayal, then. Well, yes, I guess you could put it that way. Then what's the nonary game? Oh, that refers to the whole enchilada. The nonary game is a game where you try to open the number nine door and escape. The Ambidex game is just a mini game you play as part of the larger one. Makes sense? Like hell. This shit is confusing. <laughs> is it? I always love that line because, yeah, I, I feel the same way. Or is it that you're just a few carats short of a bushel? What do you think, Bill? <sighs> you arrogant little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just how I am, so you better get used to it. Ah, uh, now, could I have you all move to the 8B room, please? I'll give you more specifics once everyone's inside. I think it'll probably be easier to understand that way. Okay, Quirk myself each gave one card to Luna, Alice, and Tamiyoji. Then we headed into the AB rooms. There wasn't really any discussion who'd go into which door. Fine, and I found ourselves heading into the leftmost room. Wait a second, we haven't searched the uh the area yet. Or does that come after this? I Oh wait, no, no, it comes after this, right? I'm sorry. Um we searched the rooms after the A B game. Because we still have time left before the next door's open. I don't know, this game is confusing my little mind. What can I say? Looks like everybody else has gone in already. 
Think we should hop in too? Why are you asking me? Kind of swore though we s because didn't we find like the dead person and we didn't have enough time to talk about the the the, the prisoner dilemma? Just hurry up and get in there. Okay, okay. She's An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. What? This game's got a time limit too? <gasps> oh, she's still here. What is going on? What, why is this woman still here? What? 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 What the heck? Who is this? Fuck if I know. Look, it doesn't matter who she is. Just get everybody over here. Uh, yeah, right. Hey, guys, 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 get over here. We found someone. Uh, there, there's a lady over here. She's unconscious. Why did we not find this lady in the first one? I don't understand this game anymore. Actually, I never understood this game, but that's not the point. I didn't wait for a response. I just turned around and followed Fi into the room. We knelt down next to the woman and turned her over as gently as we could manage. All that greeted us was... Blood. God. She's covered in blood. I leaned down to listen to her mouth. Nothing. No breath. With shaking hands, I felt against her neck for a pulse. No movement. Just cold skin. What the hell were you yelling at? What's going on here? Is she? Quirk, don't look. Somebody, get Quirk out of here. Uh, okay. C come on, Quirk. Then she's. Yeah. She's not breathing. And I can't find a pulse. Her body's already cold, so I'm guessing she was. I'm guessing she was murdered a while ago. Murdered? Well, does this look like an accident or a suicide to you? Hmm. Looks like she was stabbed. Don't see a weapon around here, though. That means either the killer took it with them, or it was part of them? Oh, I'm sorry, I missed that. Yeah, it was part of them. Well, if someone was strong enough and they had metal hands, then they might be able to stab someone in the heart. What are you suggesting? It's just a joke. It's not a good joke. Don't take it so seriously. It's really not. Really not a good joke. All the dots. Whatever. If we examine the wound, we'll probably get a better idea of what the weapon was. Let's get her to the infirmary. She might be old, but she's still a woman. If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. Come on, boys, let's go. All the dots. All the double dots. Oh boy, so once again, we find a dead body. I have no idea what's going on in this game, like ever. Like, as soon as I think I know what's going on, the game throws more core brawls. I mean, imagine going through this set of doors, and then the second set of doors, and then the third set of doors was the doors that had the annihilation bomb and no dead body. I mean, really, like, how could you keep up with this? And that just begs the question. Where is this dead body in that set of doors? DOK and I gingerly lifted the woman up and carried her to the infirmary. Perhaps he didn't just consider himself one of the boys, or maybe it was something else. But whatever the reason, Tamiyoshi only stared. His whole body was rigid, like a rope pulled almost to its breaking point, but it was eyes that caught my attention. He wasn't staring at us. Not quite. It was more like he was staring toward us. A smoldering spark of something. Something burning silently behind his gaze. It wasn't until we were almost in the infirmary that I realized Temyoji hadn't spoken a single word since the moment we found the body. I turned to look back at him. He was following us at a distance, his breathing heavy and labored, and his movement slow and shuffling, as if his body was suddenly made of lead. Ah, 
was game. Oh, I swear, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't have an answer. The old woman's body was surprisingly light. Carrying her felt almost like carrying an old, dry piece of wood. We set her down carefully in the infirmary bed, as if we were afraid she might break. She looked so peaceful. Almost like she's going to wake up any minute now. Maybe she didn't suffer much when she died. Let's hope so. Anyway, I feel a little bad about doing this, but I think we need to examine her. You mean like an autopsy or something? I'm just going to have a look at the wound. If we had a coroner, then it would be a different story, but... Um... What? I have a medical license. You're a nurse? No. You're a doctor? Well, I'm not exactly a coroner. Interesting. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover, can you? Sorry. You don't need to apologize. Are you really going to perform an autopsy? Oh, um... I won't really be doing it. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. See, the more and more I hear Luna and the more and more I see the scenes, the fact that she has a canary um, necklace, I've talked about this before, how, you know, miners used to bring in canaries into mines to determine gas. And when the canary died, you knew to get the heck out of there because, you know, it was like a warning symbol, so to speak. The more and more I see that symbol on her neck, and the more and more I hear that she has medical experience but is not a doctor, makes me think that Luna is a part of the uh, the quarantine team. Uh, she's one of the, she actually works here in this building. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. Because how else would she know this? Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Oh yeah? And just how the hell do you remember that? Because Alice, Clover, and I examined this entire room. You see, she wasn't here originally, which means she knows about that, despite the fact she doesn't know how, you know, what it is. So you think you can use it to perform some kind of autopsy? Yes. I think I should be able to manage that. All the dots. All the I'm keeping one eye on you and uh, ten eyes on Dio dots. Luna ran the scanner over the body. Then she turned back. Then turned back to the terminal. The display filled up with text, most of it rather technical. All right. So once again, we're seeing the same thing that we saw in another one, but we'll go through it. Her sex is female. Her age is 65 to 75 years old. Her diagnosis is deceased. Cause of death: exsanguination. Estimate time of death: three to four hours. Damage trajectory weapon entered through fourth intercostal piercing heart. Uh, wound characteristics uh, clean, continuous, one sharp, one blunt. Uh, 150 millimeters, 30 millimeters, 3 millimeters. Based on the characteristics derived by there's a 95% chance the wound was caused by a sharp single bladed instrument. You know, I actually don't know what exsanguination means. I thought it means like if you uh, can't breathe, um, but I'm not sure. So let me Google exsanguination. Uh, the exsanguination is defined as the severe loss of blood. And below it says no patient died from immediate exsanguination. So it looks like she bled to death. So the idea that maybe she died quickly is probably not true, unfortunately. Huh. Yeah, I don't really get it. Uh, what's it mean by instrument? Was she stabbed with a clarinet or something? It means a tool of some sort. A knife, probably. In other words, she was stabbed in the heart, right? Yes. Well, I suppose that clears me of suspicion. Sorry, but no. Why? Please, don't tell me you think my hand can somehow turn into a knife. I told you that was a joke. Then why am I still a suspect? We found the old lady in one of the AB rooms, specifically the one farthest to the left. Before we went in there, only two other people had been in that room. You and Clover. 
only one of you was conscious. Fi, please, stop joking around. I assure you, there was no one else in that room besides Clover when I woke up. She must have been put there later. But the door was locked, right? I don't think anyone could have gotten in without the key. Perhaps, but... There was a hatch on the ceiling, remember? Yes, there was. You know, I will say that... The, the last thing that we had, and the only real true ending that we've seen so far... I was really hoping to learn more about K. But here's the thing. We really didn't learn anything about K because... He left claiming that he was going to help Quirk and he was going to send assistance. That doesn't sound to me be like an evil plot or anything like that. Uh, so we have no idea still if K is good or bad. And plus, when he said, oh, Alice is only sleeping, what did he do to Alice? We had no idea because we weren't able to see, you know, what happened to Alice. And uh, K is still a huge question mark. But Zero said he locked all the hatches. Well, if it was telling the truth, nobody could have gotten in there after you two left. Which means... You fucking bastard! Why'd you kill her, Kay? I knew it. You're him, aren't you? You're the real Zero! Wait a minute, please. Just calm down. You aren't making sense. Let's suppose I am Zero. Why would I do something that would obviously cast suspicion on me? Uh, well, because... Because you figured we'd think that. And you'd throw us off the trail by doing the exact opposite. That's not a logical argument. <laughs> Still, you do have at least half a point. Your argument doesn't confirm my guilt. But it does show us where we should be looking. The real Zero. The person who brought us here is likely the person who murdered that woman. Doesn't that seem like the most reasonable answer? Yeah, it does. I guess... Yeah, that makes sense. If Zero was the murderer, then they could open anything they wanted to. I mean, didn't Zero say something about that? I live in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this whole warren are under my control. Exactly. Also, consider this. If the murderer isn't Zero, why would the AI Zero stay silent? He told us that his job was to make sure the game ran smoothly, but now the unexpected has happened, and he says nothing. Why would he do that? If he can see everything we do, then he must know who killed the old woman. All the dots. All the dots. So why has he kept his silence? The answer is simple. The murderer is Zero. Or rather, Zero Senior, I suppose you could say. He likely ordered Zero Junior, the AI, to keep his identity hidden. If Zero Junior told us about the murder, then Zero Senior's identity would be compromised. There was something else to consider as well. Perhaps this murder was not unexpected. Zero Senior murdered her. Just as planned. Death is only another part of the game. Killing someone is just part of a game to him? Well, there's no way to know for sure, but I would assume so. All the dots. All the dots. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. We gotta go vote, people. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Oh, what was that? I don't know. Well, one thing's for sure. And that is? If we don't go vote, something bad's going to happen. You see, just as I said, Zero Junior ensures the game continues, even though someone has died. All of this is part of Zero Senior's plan. All the dots. Let's get back to the warehouse. If we all head to the A-B rooms, maybe we'll see Zero Junior. After all, he told us he'd give us specifics once we'd gone in. Alright, back to the warehouse we go. Back to another vote.
Wonderful. Oh, I don't want to do this. We're really going in there? I kind of don't want to. I mean, there was a dead lady in there just a few minutes ago. Huh? Whoa, whoa, wait. Bye? Uh, where'd you go? Up here. Up? Whoa! What the heck is she doing? Is this new? You must be really desperate to get high. Seriously? That's the best you can do? I was expecting something about how I jump at the first sign of trouble. Oh, that was good too. I like that one. Oh, whatever. Uh, so what are you up to up here anyway? Ah, uh, what are you up to? Everybody's already gone into the AB rooms. Yeah, well, there was something I wanted to check out. And that is? This thing. Remember it? Uh, the hatch? Try opening it. Uh, no luck. It won't budge. Hmm. Then that means this AB room is locked down tight. No one could get in. You're talking about whoever killed that old lady, aren't you? Yeah. You still think it's K, huh? Well, like Clover said, if Zero Senior is the killer, then it wouldn't matter if we would open this hatch. Then it wouldn't matter if we could open this hatch or not. I know. I just wanted to be sure. All the dots. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Let's go. I imagine Algernon's waiting for us. Algernon? Uh, he's a rabbit. <laughs> all the dots. All the what the heck is an Algernon dot? See, I'm too afraid to Google some things because I don't want to get into spoilers. But I feel Look. like I, I, I want to know what an Algernon is. There's something on the screen. Yeah, you're right. Ambidex yeah, game will not begin. Yes. Well, well, well. Looks like there's no going back now. Astute observation. Hooray! Hooray! Everybody's finally here! I've been waiting. So have we. We got some questions for you, Zero. Who was that old wolf? Wolf! Will all of you please stop bombarding me with questions? Oh. The other people in the other rooms are asking me stuff just like you are, Siggy. I guess you probably can't hear them since these rooms are completely soundproof, but... I know I said before, but I bet you anything that's important later. B.O. is especially loud. For real, B.O. I need you to shut up. Please, B.O. There isn't much time. And, and by please, I mean shut up. Like, seriously. I gotta hurry and explain all this stuff or the game will end before I'm done. All the dots. So, no more questions from now on. No answers for anybody, okay? <gasps> you just have to wait. Now, let's get this party started. Let me tell you about the AB game. Since it's a game, you're obviously going to have an opponent. It's not like this is a battle royale where you just fight everybody. Each round will be a one-on-one -on -one battle. Mono a mono or mono a womano. Well, there are two people in each pair, aren't there? So it'll be more of a two-on-one -on -one battle, I guess. Now, I imagine you're all wondering who your opponent is going to be. It's actually really easy. You'll be competing against whoever you paired up with to go through the chromatic doors. For example, Siggy and Fido paired up with Mooney and went through the magenta door, didn't they? That means that Siggy and Fido will be playing against Mooney. And it goes the other way, too. Mooney's opponent will be Siggy and Fido. Obviously, that means Potassium and Cleaver's enemy will be Alas. I, I love I love the nicknames, especially the uh the potassium nickname is by far my favorite nickname. That is just so good. And B.O. and Quirk's enemy will be... Ten me, oldie. Well, I 
guess enemy isn't really the right word, is it? Unless you're talking about B.O., which it is. After all, if you choose ally, then they're your ally. All the dots. What? Don't get it? Well, don't worry. Just listen while Zero the Third explains it all. First, I want everybody to focus on the screen on the device in the back of the room. You should see A, ally, and B, betray on it. Do you? All you guys have to do is pick! Just pick one of those easy options! By the way, somebody noticed, why do they have an A, ally, B, betray? Why don't you say ally and betray? Um, I, I know it doesn't mean anything, it's just... It, it, like, why do you even have A and B? It's, it's weird. Your BP will go up or down, depending on what you pick. It's a little complicated, and some of you are a little slow. So, I made this handy chart. The plus and minus are from your point of view. All the dots. So, let's say you choose ally, and so does your opponent. You'll get two BP, and so will they. And you'll all get a nice, warm, fuzzy feeling inside. We call that the best pals outcome. Just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? Yeah, it would if anyone actually ever did it. So they don't. All the dots. Next is what you get if you choose ally, but your opponent chooses to betray. If that happens, you lose two BP, and they get three. We call that the stupid jerk face outcome. Somebody did that to me. I'd skin them and stew them with some tires. <laughs> All the but dots. Their choice is the opposite of that. It's when you choose betray, but your nice, innocent opponent chooses ally. This time, you're the one who gets three BP, and they're the one who loses two. We call that the serves them right outcome. I mean, what were they thinking? Choosing ally was a stupid choice, and there's nothing for you to feel guilty about. Oh, the disappointed dots. And finally, the very last scenario. This is when you choose Betray, and so does your opponent. If that happens, neither of you gets or loses anything. Absolutely zero change in BP. Uh, boring. I don't know if I said this before, I really love the, the uh, voice acting for Zero. It's just so good. We call this the why even bother outcome. As the game master here, this is the situation. I want to avoid the most. You're probably wondering about the pairs, aren't you? Well, let me explain. <laughs> Remember how I told you that both people in a pair share a destiny? Well, that applies here too. The two of you only get one vote. You get to choose once between ally or betray. That doesn't mean you split your points, though. You both get three points, or lose two points, or whatever. In other words, what you see on this chart is what you get. Okay, then. I think that about does it for the basic rules. Well, actually, there's a little bit more, but... It'll just have to wait, I guess. After all, it's almost time! <laughs> Hey, wait. No, I won't wait and I can't wait. Didn't you hear me? It is time. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. You see, it's time for me to be hopping on out of here. See you later. Have a nice trouble. Oh, the dots. All the one owned people choose ally dots. We don't have time to talk about this. Choose betray. Wow, she's so to the point, isn't she? What? You're kidding. You really want me to betray Luna? We don't know if she'll ally or not. If we choose ally and she chooses betray, we're screwed. That's a loss of two points. 
You tell me, Sigma. What's three minus two? Uh, seven? <laughs> what kind of idiot do you think I am? It's one, obviously. Exactly. If our BP gets down to one, it's over. So? Wait. Oh, what do you mean by it's over? 30 seconds remain until Ambidex game holding closes. Just press the damn button! You're hiding something. Yeah, you've been suspicious from the get-go. I mean, how'd you know my name? Or how about when we found that old lady's body? You didn't even blink. Almost like you knew she would be here. Look, I don't want to believe it, but did you... Are you... All the dots. All the dots. Fine. If you won't do it, then I... Don't think so. I'm not going to move until you give me some answers. If I don't do anything, it'll just vote ally for us anyway. All the dots. So let's hear it. What are you hiding? What's it over supposed to mean? Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Better hurry, Fi. Nine, eight, seven, six, All five, the dots. Four, three, All the dots. Two. When your BP hits zero, you die. Well, no, 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 that was, uh, uh, she gave us some answers? That's what I meant. One. And now we have to choose. Do we choose ally or do we choose betray? You know, we have been playing this game for a while now, haven't we? I mean, this is 20 plus episodes plus, you know, other episodes in 999. And if there's anything we've learned, it is that we can't really trust people we should tr choose betray because that makes the most sense and because of that you know luna i'm sure she's nice i'm sure she's fine but you know what everyone else has betrayed me so i'm not going to take the chance and we're not going to fall down this rabbit hole again we are not going to lose more of our bp we are going to betray and we're going to say screw everything we are saving ourselves Yeah, you didn't really believe I'd do that either, did you? Of course we're not. Your voice been recorded. Please wait. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. Always be true to yourself. No matter what happens. No matter what the world tells you. Or what the world is trying to tell you. At the end of the day, be true to yourself, my friends. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. I swear, Luna. I swear. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. The, the game wanted to betray three times in a row, would it? Yeah, yeah, it, it would. <laughs> or am I kidding? Ah, that, that's, that's good. Uh, flightless, yeah. As fine as I set down the AB room, I could see the others running toward the monitor, shoving and pushing to get closer. Tamiyoji was left behind, his footsteps a slow, heavy plod. What had happened to make him like that? What was that, Sigma? Ah. Huh? Don't play dumb. You chose ally. I did. Didn't you hear me? I did. I told you that if your BP drops to zero, you die. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I heard you. A whole second before the deadline. How can you expect me to think anything through that quick? It would have been, it would have taken like half a second just to process what you said. No, you could have done it. All the dots? The brain's processing power increases during a crisis. It starts working so fast that a second can seem like an eternity. Your brain was doing that right before time ran out, wasn't it? Yeah, and I chose to ignore you. Well... Am I wrong? Uh, what the heck are you talking about? Okay, fine. Let's be generous and say, hypothetically speaking, that you're right about this crisis overclocking thing. How would you know whether or not my brain was doing that? Did you crack open my skull while I wasn't looking? You just wedge a microscope in there and have a look at my neurons? 
Oh, the dots. Let me be straight with you. You're... Yeah, you're, you're full of nonsense. Like, you're, you're hella whack. Yeah, you're whack. Exactly. You can read what he says on the screen. I mean, you just know stuff you shouldn't. Stuff like my name, or how if your PP hits zero, you die. You, you told me you don't know why, but... More and more, I'm starting to think you've been lying to me. Oh, the dots. Oh, the I'm whack dots. Yo, what's up? What's up? Ziggy! But no! Hey, what are you kids doing over there? Oh, we're having a nice cordial argument. We're about to announce the results. All the dots. All the please don't kill me Luna dots. Let's go. Time to see what the results are. Maybe it's different this time. Interesting. Interesting. This time. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Maybe it's different this time. We haven't done it yet. So how can she say it's different this time? Huh? This time? Ah, I see Sigma. You caught that. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Hey. Bye. Hold on. S uh. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get ready to rock. Oh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Round one! Please don't kill me. The results! Please don't kill me. If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Please don't kill me. Come on, Luna. Restore faith in humanity. Betray ally. Betray ally. Come on, Luna. Come on. That's my girl! Yeah! 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 Oh, that feels so good. Oh, Luna, I love you. Ah. Oh. So, uh, K, K or Clover chose to betray Alice. Now, that's really interesting because in the other existence, K betrayed uh, Tenmyoji. Right? Um, yeah, I think it was Tim Yoji, uh, because he went in there, knocked out Alice, and then betrayed him. Clover would not betray Alice. So since Clover would not betray Alice, that means K chose to betray Alice. So K is immediately hugely suspect. I mean, we, we can't deny that. Let's look at the second pair. Dio and Quirk chose to betray Tenmyoji. Again, would Quirk betray Tenmyoji? The answer to that is definitely not, which means Dio is also super suspicious. So we know that K is an evil jerk and Dio is an evil jerk. Uh, or I should say, you know, instead of saying evil jerk, I should say selfish. Yeah, they're selfish. Uh, they only care about themselves. We don't know if they're evil or not, but they're definitely... Uh, they only care about themselves. Whereas, again, Luna, Luna, my girl. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Luna. Thank you for restoring, um, you know, a feeling of right in this world. I appreciate it. Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Thanks, Luna. Yes. For once, my friends, for the first time, I can log off looking at this screen feeling a little bit happy. Although I still don't trust Luna. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I, I, I there's just something about her that rubs me the wrong way. I really think that she's involved with this governmental project in some way. I don't have any evidence to back that up yet. It's just a theory. A uh, game dude no whatever. Uh, <laughs> I I do think though that Luna does have a good heart 
but I do think she's involved in everything going on. It doesn't mean she's evil. I mean, she could be working for the good humanity, but I do think she's not telling us something. Anyway, my name is Afalisbur. This is our blind let's play of Virtue Last Reward, the sequel to 999. And like I said, I'm logging off with a huge smile on my face because I know for once we didn't get betrayed. Ah, always be true to yourself, my friends. Thank you so very much. Thank you for everything. Thank you for following along. Um, thank you for commenting and liking. Uh, they really help with the uh, YouTube. And just, you know, uh, you all have a wonderful day, a great week, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.